one day I was so angry and feeling so lonely, you know, you have those days that you feel totally abandoned and I felt so terrible. And I live near the seaside, so I thought, okay, now I have to go to the sea and find myself a wing, a seagull's wing. And I did, I went to the, to the beach and just the minute I got to the beach, there was this wing standing up, right straight up in the sand. <laughs> I said, wow, this is great. <laughs> And I felt so grateful uh, to the white, cuff, white buffalo cob woman and I was singing home and it was wonderful. And then the next Friday, I was on a Monday and then the Friday after that, I thought, okay, I have one wing, I'm going to do this twice. I want the other one too because I use it in my work. It's for healing and it's for freedom and I really, really, yeah, love to embody this this energy of this seagull and I went and it had been a big storm so the whole beach was well chaotic and then I was with a friend we were walking her dog and we came to a part you know in Holland you have those those lines I don't know the word in English but you have we call it a pier to divide the beach and to take care of that there doesn't come floods so there was this compartment and we came in one such an area and it was full of little wings, this big, like 24. I could pick them up like flowers. So like, wow, what is happening to me? What is this, you know? And then I turned around to go home with her and I was totally overwhelmed. And then I had, suddenly I saw this other seagull wing just waving in the wind <laughs> on on a wire it was like oh my gosh this is this is unbelievable and it was such a sign from the spirits and i went home and i made ceremony for these little wings all around me and i sat and i asked the spirits and my my guide what is this what is going on and i hear it really so clearly in my in my head Okay, you found these wings and they come from little birds. They were caught in a fisher's net, fisherman's net. And it's your job to recreate them, make new work, make a new life for them. And that is what you have to do. It was so clear. I mean, there was no way to doubt anything. So I just didn't. I just did my job. <laughs> yeah. I just did my job, and as I see how it works, um, most of the time I create series of, of shields. Uh, once in a while there's one, but most of the time, like for the clan mothers, there were 13, and then there is the soul series for my own shields, and they were very big, they were large shields, and I have created a series of uh, the sacred directions, see? But how this works, that is like a pregnancy, feeling very deep inside that something wants to be born, wants to be, in, wants to be coming into the world. And it can take months and it can be very uncomfortable because this urge is there and it's not the moment yet, you know? And all of a sudden there comes this moment that you know, okay, now I have to go and create. So what I did is that I sorted out every bird, uh, uh, like pheasant feathers, guinea fowls, um, um, turkey, uh, whatever, everything, raven. And then I made a circle of the feathers and I did ceremony for the birds. And I met them all. I just thanked them all to give this beautiful gift for creation. So when I feel I have to, to create, I open up and, and the work comes through and my hands creating it and there is nothing what I can do about it. I mean, yeah, they are so gorgeous of themselves and it's such a color healing, every shield. So that's what is meant to be. That's also my gift to, to, the, to humanity. It has to be color healing for everyone, as for myself, during the process of creating, of course. Yeah. As I see it, all species have their own message, their own medicine. And as I see for birds, as, as, yeah, 
those beautiful colors, those beautiful, you know, those this angelic energy, this this. It's just meant for, as I see it, uh, meant to heal, because color is very important. It aligns us with our chakras. It aligns us with our being. It remem it gives us the remembering of whom we really are. So, as I see it, it's like, I can't imagine a world without birds. I couldn't. No, I couldn't. And if you say for maybe a raven, which is totally black, to me, it's the, it's the connection in between the father and the mother. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the magical place to give us this bridge. To connect. Yeah. So, and, and there's all colors in the raven as well. If you close your eyes, you can see it. <laughs>